Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today we're looking at Vegas Pro 21. That's right, Vegas Pro can drink now. So if you're new to Vegas, this is covering what is new to version 21 versus other versions. I've got videos for you. Check them out in the links below. But if you're just looking to see what's new with Vegas Pro 21, first with the UI, there's a more streamlined version of Vegas Hub, which fits much more seamlessly into the workflow. I think the way they were kind of imagining from the beginning. So Vegas Hub, its UI has kind of fully blossomed. And I really feel like the whole redesign uh, that happened a couple years ago uh, with the new darker versions and everything, I really feel like this is the version where the UI has like fully blossomed into kind of what the hope and vision of the UI, the user interface, the buttons, the readability of it, the clarity to it. I really feel like it's all come to a natural point. First thing you're going to notice is this thing runs smoothly. They have done some huge under the hood changes and you really feel it. Uh, I've said that before because they have been doing a lot of bug fixes and things from version to version, but this one they've done major changes and man, in my computer at least, it's just been running so smoothly and I've been able to do lots of the new AI features the really computative stuff without any problems and it's just been awesome speaking of the new stuff well that is probably one of the most major updates the fact they had a huge stability change there are two new GL transitions where are a specific type of transition uh, that you can use and then there are three new awesome effects and Let's talk about these changes. A static wipe kind of automatically puts in some TV static, but the wipe that you can do, very clean, very beautiful transition. Another one to the huge library of automatic transitions Vegas has, which is for fast editing. Another great one is directional scale. This one really can make something look very beautiful very quickly, especially when used, like in my example here, especially when used with a the huge library of abilities that Vegas already has. When you combine these things, it only gets better and better. For the new effects, you have the new offset and warp effect. This is kind of a famous kind of vlogging effect. Blow up or blow out or offset the video and you can tile it or mirror it when you do so. And there's a cool way to use this. You can use this with the new adjustment event. So if you use the adjustment event, you can right click and add an adjustment event. And instead of having an adjustment track, which is also something you can do and could do in earlier versions with the adjustment event, you get kind of more granular control over how the effect is working on the event level. It's easier to keyframe, for example, and then you can just add that event over anything it's over will then take on that effect. So for example, here, if you wanted to use the new offset and warp as a transition, you can easily kind of throw the keyframing over a two different effects and you can get a nice, like seamless effect adding between two different events. And you can move this, duplicate it, put it wherever you want. Now, Smart Mask is another one that's exciting. It uses AI tools to help you mask things. Now, the more clear your video kind of has an ability to mask, the better this will turn out for you. And I will have more detailed tutorials about all the new stuff soon. But for Smart Mask, it's something that you can kind of have it quickly generate a mask uh, instead of having to draw it out and get you started. It'll output it to a new Bezier mask, which means that you can edit it when you're done. Now, that can be a huge head start or even just completely finish something that is usually extremely labor intensive. ZDef mask is similar. So with ZDef, it uses AI to kind of realize how close or far away something is from you. There are a ton of potentials for this, including some really exciting ones that I can't even really explain right now, um, but it's something I'm working on. Um, so, so keep that in mind, like relighting after the fact and stuff like that, like depth, understanding the depth of something is essentially means that you can kind of do more 3D stuff easily. Uh, so a very quick and simple example 
is you can use this to help like put something in the middle of a shot. Like if you want to put text behind the person, but in front of the background, this is a way you can do that. It works pretty quickly because you kind of just drag and drop. And now you have some sort of sense of depth in your screen and you can tailor this to be more exact as you go. So the big question everyone asked me is, should I upgrade to Vegas Pro 21? And this time, I think the answer is just a big yes. And the effects are awesome. And the direction scale static wipe, awesome. So if you want those for sure, it should be pretty simple. Like, yes, those are very cool features. I want them. You want Vegas Pro 21. Usually I tell a lot of people like, hey, if you've got 20 or 19, you know, and, and you're happy with it, you might not need to upgrade immediately or whatever. This is one where I would say like, you're probably going to want to upgrade soon because the, the new under the hood improvements are very visible. <laughs> they, you feel them in the workflow. Um, and this is, this is, it feels like Vegas is kind of flowered into the imagined seamless drag and drop software that professionals use that has been in, in everyone's minds as what we're working for. I feel like this is, it's beginning to bud into that uh, truly. And that's exciting. And that's why I would really suggest this version. If that is something you would like to buy, if you buy it through my affiliates link, that helps out this channel a ton. And I'll be having tutorials, not only about all this new stuff, but about beginner stuff and about advanced stuff. And I'm excited to dive into it. Thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out, subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one, and I will see you next time.